Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 21, Club 5, our climbing the ladder journeyman save with FM20. So, uh, after the uh, shellacking we took last episode, uh, nothing ended up happening, it was just a break. Um, hello, you want to say hi? Yeah, say hi to everybody, say, hey everybody. <laughs> um, so we beat uh, BK Hawken 6-1. With a new tactic, Magnus Eriksson with an early goal, Ali Jacobson and Gel Selenius with braces, Karsten Bethke with a goal as well. We lost 2-1 to one to Team... What are you doing? <laughs> uh, we lost 2-1 to one to Team TG, Jason Tarpey with a goal. And then we beat uh, Kalmar 2-0. Uh, brought Bruins back from his injury with his first goal since his return. And Selenius with another goal as well. So with the two wins, we've climbed our way up to 10th in the table. Uh, sitting on 16 points. Only one point out of relegation. So a little troubling. A little troubling. But we are, you know, we're close to mid-table. We're getting up there. So uh, anyway. Um, what else has happened? Oh yeah, we, uh, are, we lost our assistant coach. Uh, our assistant manager was hired away with a uh, B, uh, Division B uh, team. So we have hired Stian Stwin, and he's pretty good. He's actually uh, he's been a former head coach. He's 34, so he is young, uh, but really good judging ability. So by far our best uh, judge of uh, potential and ability for us to be uh, getting our lineups from him. And anything else? Yes, transfers. Um, Johan Johansson, we've got some loan offers. Uh, we've got some young players on offer. He's going to be joining in a week. So let's take a look at him. Jonas Storebo, Stribo. Uh, he has a uh, few. Oh, he's leaving us and going to Hod. Uh, so. Uh, 25 years old, so he is leaving. And anything else? We did sign somebody. 715. Uh, these are all of our new players that just joined us this past week. So uh, you guys have not seen these guys yet. Thomas Thomason, he's 26 years old, uh, is a right winger. So again, more right wing people. Very, very strong physicals. Determination, leadership, off the ball, work rate, technique. He can pass the ball okay. His technicals are okay. He's going to be pretty solid. Uh, probably going to fit in behind Brock Bruins and Larson. Uh, Larson, either one of these guys, yeah, they're all righties. So we'll probably end up selling one of these guys. Uh, Steve Matthews comes from Grimsby Town, uh, right back, very good physicals. Uh, again, just trying to find some English guys there. You know, the, the Swedes can't, can't head the ball. Uh, his heading is okay. So he's a solid back, but he's also got good crossing. So he can go forward in an attacking role. Uh, so he's going to be on board now. Uh, Gerthen Davies from Bangor City comes on a free. Uh, he can play striker. He won't because he's got a two finishing. He can play right wing. Probably won't. But he can play central mid, playmaker, ball winning midfielder in that central mid. Pace, acceleration, decision making. Composure, solid. Passing, first touch. So a lot of things to, to like in there. And the last guy that we brought in was Christian Larson from Jan Kopings for $800. Uh, 26 years old, another right winger. Uh, I was desperate for right wingers, uh, if you couldn't tell. And again, he can go forward. So I could see him. I could see him maybe moving back to a defense, to a, to a complete wing back in attack and giving me an attacking option back there possibly uh anyway uh they have all joined taking a look at finances uh we have blown the budget so we do need to sell some players uh in fact let's go in here and see 
if anybody is wanted. Cavilli's wanted. We got another offer for him. Um, again, it was under three thousand uh, dollars, and we're gonna lock that three grand. All right, we'll see if anybody jumps on that. Uh, Osterberg, Cavalli's wanted. He's leaving now. Pedersen, see, Pedersen's really fallen down the the pecking order. 52,000. So let's go ahead and offer him out to clubs. He's valued at 3.2. We'll offer him out. And Bowman is wanted as well. And I would not mind getting rid of him. He's listed. He's loan listed. Offer to clubs. Uh, valued at 1,000. I tell you what, we're going we're gonna to move him for free if we can. We'll just we'll just get him out. All right, let's get to the match. We're playing uh, Eskilstuna today. They are heavily favored. I'm liking our kit. I like that black kit, the Halloween outfit. And uh, we'll take a look at the tactic here in a second. So this is the new tactic. It's a four-one-three-two asymmetric. Basically, we did we took our standard four-four-two and just dropped this guy uh, back into a ball-winning midfielder. Uh, defensive mid position so that is what we're going to go with assistant coach all right so there's his selection so pretty similar now Matthews Matthews is going to make his debut so he looks a lot more set at that right back complete wing back uh, Gustafson yeah we're going to put Gustafson on the pitch on the on the field Auto number, not a whole lot we can do there. All right, well, that took seven minutes of our lives to go through all that, but we had a lot happen. All right. The tactic has not looked bad. Um, we've won two, we've lost one, no draws, three matches with that tactic. Um, a little more defensive minded we're not dominating the shots oh that should have went in um johansson had a hat trick that six to one win all three came off of set pieces straight to the goal oh that's ugly oh actually we're not in orange we're in the black i forget no what a save gustafson I was thinking we were orange there for a second, and I was getting all excited with the pressure on the goal. Now I'm freaking out, like, oh, my God. Um, but, yeah, so so we've, we've still been out shooting. We've been out possessing, so we've, we've statistically, but um, just not as dominant on the shots as they were, which is okay. I don't, I don't need, you know, 30 shots. I just need... You know, what was that? Hey, okay, tell the world. <laughs> All right, Dietert. All right, I don't know who he was playing that ball to, but it was poor. All right, Jacobson. All right, there's a nice ball out to Larson. Crossed in. Lindbaum can't find it. Cuts it inside. Lindbaum. Oh, Larson puts the shot, bounces it off the defender and the keeper to set up a corner. We got a little unlucky there. All right, Lindbaum plays it back outside. Jacobson to the touchline, into the defender's leg. There needs to be a... Button to push to not kick the ball right into the defender. Kick it one step earlier, one step later. I don't know. All right, so we're out shooting them nine to five. All right, so we do appreciate their efforts here in the early going. We've got one card. All 
All right, Jacobson. Oh, a header right. In. Who? What the? Wolgamoth? Wolgamoth. Wow. That's interesting. Bob Seeger drives into the box. And Jacobson takes him down. A yellow card and a penalty. Not, not what we were hoping for there. Oh, he put it right into the keeper's hands. That was nice of him. And then he shepherded it out of bounds. Awesome. All right, he's playing a 5-9 up top. All right, let's, uh, let's get creative and then make a sub here. All right, Davies, we're going to bring on Osterberg, who's back from injury. Need to work on some match fitness for a bunch of these guys uh, that have not... Um, you know, coming back from injury or whatever. All right. Brought Bruins. Bethke. How about for Larson? We'll do that. All right. They are motivated. Good job. And show some passion. Let's bring on uh, let's bring on Dolk. Dolk's got really good finishing. Composure's pretty solid. Uh, this is their highlight. Oh my god. Dieter clears it off the line. Bethke, nice, nice clearance. Cross midfield. Whew, that was that was close. Matthews is struggling. I think we'll be happy to take a point here. 15 to 9, so we dominate again. I don't know. I think maybe we should have won, but we didn't have any clear-cut chances. They had two. So that's that's all right. All right, we appreciate the efforts. Looks like we got a couple of bids. They hold out for a draw. Davies, Jacobson, passing was nice. All right, we'll be back for the next match in just a second. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, I'm actually recording this tomorrow. Uh, if you watched the first match, uh, it's tomorrow. But uh, yeah, but now it's today. So we're playing Elfsburg today. Uh, they uh, laughed me out of the uh, interview. Didn't give me an interview in the off season. So hopefully we can show them a little something. We moved up to 10th position after the go last time. Oh, by the way, real quick, because uh, since this is a new day, um, let me see. Gordon Bell, welcome to the channel. Uh, I don't know his screen name, but there's a, I'm wondering if he is LFC Taz. Uh, is that Liverpool? Maybe. Um, LFC. It's not Leeds because that's L-U-F-C. I know that as a Leeds fan. But uh, Gordon Bell, welcome to the channel. Uh, LC, LFC Taz uh, uh, gave some comments on uh, the last video that went up. And uh, he said, he said he was surprised that I play with the ball playing defenders at center back. Now, keep in mind, this is a couple of episodes ago. So that would be on that tactic that we were playing. Uh, why did we didn't play with center backs? But uh, if he's new to the channel, some of the rest of you guys may remember I had switched these to central defenders and these guys were on fullback defend. Uh, so I did tweak it a little bit. But we struggled with that. So uh, anyway, and then of course now I'm playing this particular tactic uh, there. And what I just did, that was his second uh, point of contention. He, he wasn't offended. He didn't say he was going to leave the channel. But he said, why are you doing the auto pick? The way I look at it is any manager, they've got a staff, right? This is just my opinion. But they have a staff that they trust and they put in place and i'm sure the manager makes the final decision but i'm sure he 
interacts with his staff members, including his assistant manager, uh, on on who to play, who's in good form, and he gets input from them. So the way I look at this is that's all I'm doing is I'm getting his input. And I do have it tweaked out pretty high that you have to have 90% uh, over uh, condition. Uh, so, you know, they're really not going to be playing back-to-back -back matches in, you know, within a couple of days. Um, you know, if I went down to 80 or 70, you know, then we could, but, but, you know, I do that to, to get a little more rotation, uh, use the depth in the squad. And then, you know, I'm always looking for players plus the fact that I've got a, you know, I'm, you know, I'm just looking for confirmation of what I'm thinking. So like, you know, so I, it, you know, Lindbaum, if we look at the scheme of things, he is considered to be the number three striker, right? Now you could argue on stars. He's same with Dolk, but I know Lindbaum is my number one striker. Selenius may have better star ratings, but Lindbaum is my primary score. So even though I use that auto pick, don't think I'm not paying any attention at all to that. You know, I mean, I will go in, I will, I will, I have made tweaks to my bench. Um, and you know, so, so that's, that's kind of why I do that. I just use that not really role playing, but in a real life way, I'm leaning on my staff for input and confirmation. So anyway, that's, that's how I look at it. Um, now, one thing that I am noticing here is Baj is not on the bench. And I also know he is my best player. Now, he does need some match sharpness. So I want, we're going to put, I'm going to put him here. And then I'm going to put Baj for him. That way, Alonzo moves to the bench. And then Larson, Larson is one of our new guys that we signed, right? Yeah, I just bought him. He's played one match. So he's a guy that I jumped on when we had Pedersen and uh, brought Bruins that were injured, both with long, you know pretty serious injuries and missed quite a bit of time, and I, I needed a body, so... Larson popped up. I was able to get him pretty cheap, and he's actually the best of the bunch. So Pedersen, we have uh, put on the on the uh, transfer list. Uh, he is listed, so we'll be trying to move him. Bowman's on the transfer list, uh, but nobody's made an offer on him yet. Uh, we've got him listed for loan and transfer. Uh, Starabo is going to be leaving. And who is the other guy? There's one other guy. I don't remember. Anyway, um, let's do a quick comparison with Likey and Gustafson again. Now, he Likey's moved up to an 11, so that's actually pretty good. He's much better communication. Likey is the guy I would like to be my starter. He's not quite as good at stopping shots, but... I think we may he may have gotten a little bit better, so we're gonna go ahead and give him a run. And that is an issue. All right, that's a problem. So Bowman, and this is what we ran into last time, was it not? He can play mid center. Can he pass? He can. Marking, tackling, not really. But Ramage is not homegrown. Uh, let's put, okay, striker, well, see, and this is where, because I, you know, I don't want to waste a ton of time, so that's why it's going to put Alonzo in there, and we'll just have to work around that. I would like Badge to be in there, but we need... Like Ollie Jacobson, you know, he's suspended. So when he comes back on, that'll probably help us out. All right, we'll just go with that. 
It is what it is. So anyway, I hope that uh, helps you, you know, especially new people as they're catching up, don't know how I've played in the past. Hope that just explains a little bit why I do some of the things I do. For better or for worse. But we had a we shared a couple of comments back and forth and uh, I think we uh we ended up on uh you know, on the same page. Tarpe, Alonzo, Get rid of the ball, man. Faster. Shit. All right. Well, that's that's one way to do it. Trying to flick on header. That's horrible. All right. Dietert. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, uh, Lindbaum pounces on it. He takes the... Oh, that was a wimpy shot. Didn't get much on that ball. Good play by him, though, to jump on top of that. Tarpe heads it forward. Good job. All right, Alonzo. Finds a little space to bring it up. Squared in. There's the run. Christian Larson, his third goal of the season. I think we're going to see some goals out of this guy. Um, I liked the right wingers that I had. Brought Brune and everybody else, but... I think this guy's going to do do the job for us. We are going to end up having to sell probably one of those guys on the right side. I'm trying to sell Pedersen, so I am trying to sell one. But uh, I may have to look. I've got to keep in mind. Uh, let's praise him. Uh-oh. Arvidsson puts it in the net. That was a first goal of the season. No bueno. That was not a good play. Likey, not happy with that. Right over him. That was just brutal. Brutal. All right. She's another set piece right on the edge of the box. I tell you what, is it just me? Are set pieces now broken? They fixed one-on-ones and now broke set pieces? I, I, I'm not seeing keepers saving anything. Uh, and, you know, and we've scored quite a, quite a few. Oh, look at the balls out. Jeez. Take a, take a stab there, Dieter. Oh, Lindbaum puts it through. Selenius. Oh, what a grab by Nikonen. Ouch. That was... How does he beat over the top like that? Come on, fellas. Two minutes, two goals. And I'm guessing there was a penalty there. Shit. Set pieces and penalties, man. Oh, what a save. Oh, he just put it up into the stands. He might have kicked that one out of the stadium. That was awesome. All right, Matthews runs it down. All right. So they came back and got into that game. Thank goodness they missed that penalty. Uh, sympathize with them? All right, we'll go with you. We'll go with you. A 6-3 for Matthews. I think I want to make a change there. Uh, let's bring Osterberg on. Yep, let's do that. Can Larson play anywhere else? He can only play right. He could play inverted. Could he not? Bethke can't play anywhere else. <sighs> okay, Brock Bruins. He can play left and right. That's good. I mean, he's right-footed only, but he's right, but not right only. So that's good. So I don't really need Erickson on the bench. I like Erickson. But you know what? We're going to transfer list him. 
just because we've got to cut a little bit of salary and that opens up. Uh, I don't have the people on the bench that I want, though. That's fine. That's going to be the only change for now. All right, let's let's uh, let's get creative. All right, back to Likey. Dietert. Alonzo. I really wish I had another playmaker right there. Ah. Over the top of the ginger. That's Hallen. Yep. Not really the guy I want starting there. Oh, God. Shot wide. All right, show some passion. All right, can we get one back ourselves? Nope, he puts it into the wall. See, that's, that's how a set piece is supposed to work. Does it work like that against us, though? Put it in. Put it in. Oh, poor finish. And he's our best finisher. By far our best finisher. All right. We'll let, he, he came in late, so we, he can play the rest of the match. All right. Dietert. Let's bring... I'm going to bring Alonzo back. And then... Yeah, Bowman's the only option we have right there. Fair enough. Yeah, that was poor. Come on. Make a mistake. Pounce on it. Selenius. Oh, he finds the corner of the net. That's his 11th of the season. That was a good finish, son. That makes that that almost makes up for the miss you had earlier. But yes, we will take that. All right, there's our change. Damn. Oh. I swear to God, we are going to lose this match strictly on set pieces. Keeper could not get to it, and he flapped around on the ground like a fish out of water. Uh, push forward. Everybody's playing okay. I think we ride them here. <laughs> oh, shit. Another freaking set piece. Every single one of their goals has been from a set piece. Who the hell is that? Bethke. You guys have got to do better than that. Yeah, I'm going to let Larson run down. We're two goals. That sucked. Headers. No, that was that was brutal. Bethke is stressed. That knocks us from 10th to 13th. Everybody won. Elfsberg, Hock, and Brahma Pajama, they all won. Oh, my God. It is a nail-biter. A nail-biter. All right. Shit. Didn't we play Hammerby and Brahma Pajama up here? Pretty sure we did. So we don't need to play that again. Let's come back for the Cup and Malmo. And then that'll set us up for maybe Norcoping's Your Gardens and then Calmer uh, and Team TG to finish out the season. 
I think that's it. So uh, anyway, that was not uh, not a good showing. Hopefully we can just get some points. God. And again, all we're supposed to do is fight bravely against relegation. No, I'd much rather have eight draws and five losses than the reverse here, but what are you going to do? All right, guys, well, hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, again, welcome to the channel to the new, new people. And uh, we will see you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.